Netflix's latest series, IC-814, The Kandahar Hijack, has stirred significant controversy in India with its portrayal of the infamous 1999 plane hijacking incident. Directed by Anubhav Sinha, the six-episode miniseries is inspired by real events and follows the harrowing ordeal of Indian Airlines Flight 814 which was hijacked by militants and taken to Taliban-controlled Kandahar. The show dramatizes the intense negotiations between the Indian government and the hijackers, ultimately leading to the release of three militants, including Masood Azhar, who later founded the terrorist group jaish e Mohammed. The controversy has primarily focused on how the hijackers are depicted in the series. The show uses aliases for the hijackers, such as Bola and Shankar, which critics argue misrepresent their real identities. Ibrahim Athar, Shahid Akhtar Sayed, Sunni Ahmed Kazi, Mystery Zahor Ibrahim, and Shakir. These real names, all of which are Pakistani, were replaced with common Hindu names, sparking accusations of intentional distortion. BJP leader Amit Malviya highlighted that these alterations might mislead viewers into believing that Hindus were behind the hijacking, an allegation that has intensified the debate. The series is based on Flight into Fear, the captain's story by Captain Devi Sharon and journalist Shrinjoy Chowdhury. Released last week, it portrays the hijacking from m- multiple perspectives, including those of the hijackers, passengers, and Indian officials. The depiction of the hijackers' interactions and their use of these aliases has drawn ire from various quarters, including Hindu right-wing groups who have filed petitions seeking a ban on the series. They argue that the series distorts crucial facts and misrepresents historical events. In response to the backlash, Netflix has updated the series' disclaimer to include both the real and code names of the hijackers. This move aims to clarify the series' portrayal and address concerns raised by critics. Netflix India's Vice President of Content, Monica Shergill, stated that the disclaimer was revised to enhance transparency and provide accurate information to viewers. She emphasized that the series strives to reflect the authentic events of the hijacking, citing previous statements from India's Home Ministry and testimonies from survivors. Despite the controversy, many defenders of the series point out that the code names used in IC-814 were widely known and publicly reported at the time of the hijacking. Survivors and journalists have corroborated that these names were used by the hijackers during the crisis. This incident is not the first time that international streaming platforms have faced backlash in India. Netflix previously removed a Tamil language film over objections from Hindu organizations, and Amazon Prime show Tandav also faced criticism in 2021 for alleged religious insensitivity. As the debate continues, the updated disclaimer aims to bridge the gap between historical accuracy and dramatic representation. Hoping to quell the storm surrounding Netflix's portrayal of the dramatic events of 1999. Stay subscribed for more videos.